Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading. This is your uh, April bonus reading. So we are going to jump right in here. Uh, you have this investment card. It says, whatever you invest in today will flourish in the future. Love it. And you also have this designer card. It says, find a creative strategy to improve your finances. So uh, I think that you have been investing in things for a long time. And personally, I think Sagittarius has been on this journey of, uh, you know, working on what they actually do want to work on. <laughs> so you, you maybe have been, you know, kind of finding or trying to find a career that you actually want. Uh, you could be, um, you know, working on a side hustle, like I always say, or, um, you know, something similar. You could even be looking for a new place to move or something like that. And I feel like you're finally able to put the energy into what you want is what that investment card is saying. Uh, you have you start off with the hermit as well as your just current general energies here for the month and the hermit you know could say that you are in hermit mode uh, but really the hermit kind of says that you have learned something and now you are it is time for you to kind of express what you have learned uh, to the world you know he has that star in his lantern on the hermit and he needs to shine his light all over the place. You know, I always say that that star, you know, that, that is like the star in his lantern, but he's keeping it stuck in the lantern. He's not really showing the world what he's made of. And I feel it's time for Sagittarius to kind of show the world what they're made of and speak up more. And, you know, uh, if, you, if you're creative, put more of the things you create out into the world. If you uh, take action on things, you know, take more action, whatever the case may be, uh, I would do it with this hermit energy. I think that it will serve you really, really well. I think you've learned a lot and um, now you're kind of like in a much more secure position or you're you're about to be. Uh, you have the Ace of Pentacles. This is the crossing energy here. Uh, the crossing energy can be what hurts you or helps you in a Celtic cross. And the Ace of Pentacles is like a big opportunity. I don't I think that you've always had the opportunities necessary to like be successful, if that makes sense. Or, you know, it's like maybe it's been harder for you to gather the resources or the opportunities to be successful. Uh, but I do feel like that is changing for you. I, I almost feel like you're on a new path. And the interesting thing is, is that there are some mountains right here. It's kind of hard to see, uh, but right in under that archway. And so it's almost like there's an opportunity for you to, you know, get a higher view. I always say mountains in the uh, tarot can represent obstacles, but they really represent an achievement. You know, where do you get the best views at the top of a mountain? So I kind of feel like you're starting to have achievements or you're starting to uh, work towards an achievement that will make you stand out or will get you attention on whatever it is that you're working on. Uh, you have the Knight of Pentacles in the area of your thoughts and the Knight of Pentacles could say that, <laughs> you know, progress has been slow or that things have not moved forward as quickly as you would like. Again, I do feel like that's changing. I do also feel that some of you have a person on your mind, literally. So you could be thinking about a Knight of Pentacles person. Maybe this is a person who isn't making moves or maybe this is a person where you need to make the move, but uh, Knight of Pentacles is like slow movement. It can represent progress though. Like he could easily plant seeds in those that field behind him and those seeds would grow. So if you are thinking about investing energy into something, you know, that investment card says, whatever you invest in today will flourish in the future. So I think that whatever this is, is totally worth the investment. Uh, even more confirmation is the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is about planting seeds. You know, he is, you know, yeah, sure. It can represent equal give and take. It could also represent the fact that he is like choosing to give to one person and not the other here. And, you know, he understands who he needs to give his energy to. But I really look at the Six of Pentacles as a card of planting seeds. Like he is investing, uh, he is, you know, planting seeds and whatever grows is what he will uh, continue to work on. So I feel that the Six of Pentacles is always an amazing card for, um, you know, kind of doubling down on things at work, but also trying new things, experimenting in life. I also do see a lot of just here in general, I feel that you are very focused on financial security. So a lot of you could be doing more things to create financial security or to support yourself. The other interesting thing is, is that I'm kind of getting this energy of, you know, um, you know, it's like you're, starting something to support something else. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. But um, 
you know, it's like I once heard a guy uh, that I used to listen to talk. I can't remember who it was, but, um, you know, he was talking about making money, basically. And he, and he was saying how he like never worries about bills because like his rule is, you know, his like affirmation, right, is I'm not going to pay for it. Right. So the the reason that's his affirmation is because like if he ever gets like he was, I think he was talking about like if he ever gets a big bill or if there's ever something he wants, like a new Ferrari or whatever, right, um, that he just says, I'm not going to pay for it. And then he goes and creates a business that pays for it. Or he goes and creates a product that pays for it, right? And it's almost like that's what's popping into my head here. It's like, I feel like you're in this this energy of saying, well, I'm not going to pay for it. I'm going to just go create the abundance. You know, I'm just going to go create the the thing that I need to be able to get it. So I don't know, interesting mindset. I like it. <laughs> I think that it's going to be very good for you. Uh, in your past position, you have the King of Cups. Uh, you know, this could represent love. You have the Soulmates card and this Never Ending Story card. For a, I don't feel this for all of you. I feel this for a small percentage of you. Uh, if you've been dealing with a person for a long time, it might be like a good person, but I think, and it could be a soulmate, but I feel like you're seeing that a person just isn't right. Like maybe you're seeing that they just keep repeating the same mistakes or you keep having the same problems. And I do feel some of you have already left a person behind. The interesting thing as well is because of this Soulmates card, I kind of feel that this could be like a family member. And I, I'm, I am almost positive I've said this to you before. <laughs> that it's almost like Sagittarius has maybe dealt with an issue with like a person, like a family member or someone that they're close with. And it's like, maybe this person came back into your life and um, maybe they made the same mistakes. And now you're like, okay, I just, you know, I have to love this person from a distance. I have to love this person from far away. And I kind of get that energy here. While, you know, it could be disappointing. I really do just energetically, just looking at everything here. I really feel you're kind of in this, in boss mode. You, you end with the emperor. And, you know, while yes, Aries is the emperor, I still kind of feel you're embracing I feel like it's you is what I'm trying to say here. I feel like the emperor is saying that you're embracing that boss-like energy. And so you might not be like totally cutting someone out of your life, but I feel like you're kind of like saying, I have to love you from a distance, right? I, I you know, I can't have this person in my life. So I, I kind of feel like you're being picky in a good way with your energy. You're protecting your energy. You're making sure that people like don't take advantage of you and cause problems and you know, all that other stuff. So I there's obviously nothing wrong with this. This is obviously a good thing. Uh, but that's kind of what I feel like you're focused on here. Uh, you have the Five of Swords. You know, Five of Swords can be a card of separation. This is coming up in the area of your very near future. I, I'm getting a weird message here as well, Sagittarius, that, um, you know, Five of Swords, I don't really look at as a bad card. He, yeah, he, it's a card of battle and, you know, kind of like fighting. And it can say that he's trying to win at all costs, that guy at the front of the card. But I kind of feel like you are putting yourself in more situations where you can win. <laughs> and obviously there's like nothing wrong with that, right? Um, you know, so I like I feel like some of you are, are, are kind of like doing things or you're kind of like pay, paying more attention to the situations where you do have wins and you're cu cutting out the places where you don't win. And I don't know, it's, like I think in a way it is making you more of a winner, as weird as that sounds. Like I, f I do feel like you're kind of like avoiding things that you know are gonna be a loss, but I don't really see that as a bad thing necessarily, right? Uh, next, you have this draft spirit says, see the big picture. You have this dragonfly says, truth transcends illusion. I just, I do feel like you are being very honest with yourself about a past connection. And it's like, you're, you're just seeing the truth of the matter and you're moving on. Uh, I think that the big picture card is, like I said, I, I really do feel you are very big picture at the moment. I feel like you are very focused on, you know, en entering into situations that where that where you can win and other ones where you can't. But I also feel you have a big picture view of your life. And so because you can see the big picture, I feel like you're doing more stuff to uh, kind of like, you know, attract the big picture. Uh, you have this judgment card. Um, this is coming up over the next few months. I really feel you could be having a lot, waking up in a big way over the next few months, uh, understanding new things about yourself. I also feel like you could be getting answers that you've been waiting for. So if you've been hoping or praying for answers from the universe, even your next card is the, the Hierophant. The Hierophant is the bridge between the heavens and the earth. He communicates with both sides. And so I feel for a lot of you, maybe you've been waiting for communication from like the universe, like a sign, symbol, synchronicity. Um, you've been waiting for something to kind of like fall into place or whatever the case may be. And I kind of feel like you could be getting um, the clarity or the understanding here uh, with the judgment card. And this is like some sort of answer that you've been waiting for. In the area of your closest relationships, you have the Hierophant. I do feel that there could be new love coming in for you here. Um, the Hierophant, of course, could be marriage. I'm not saying you're gonna marry like a person that you just meet, but uh, definitely a very, could be a strong connection coming in for you. 
This is coming up in the area of your closest relationships. And what I would say is I do also feel that you are kind of like looking at how you were raised. You are looking at your traditions or um, you know the the things you were you were raised to believe, and you could be challenging those things. Uh, this makes a lot of sense with Neptune and Pisces. I I personally believe, and also I think that it's true that that Neptune and Pisces energy it kind of makes us question you know how we were raised, or you know it can kind of make us question. Uh, the the things that we have always believed. It might not even have to be with how you were raised. You could just have had like a business for the last 20 years and you could have some sort of idea about the business, but now you're finding out it's not true, like about whatever whatever it is. And that could be leading to a change. So the higher fin sometimes is a direct challenge to traditional belief. And I do feel you could be challenging some beliefs that you have, but this is a good thing. It's gonna lead to growth. Uh, next in your future feelings, you have the Queen of Wands. So love it. You are feeling very strong and assertive. You know, the Queen of Wands is about being bold, assertive, strong, uh, being very focused on the future. Um, you know, she has that sunflower and it's pointing towards the sun. So I feel for a lot of you that uh, you could be very focused on, you know, bringing more joy and happiness into your life. She's also the card as, of learning as you go. And I personally do believe as well that we are in a time where it, it, it's an amazing time to learn as you go, right? It's an amazing time to explore new ideas or uh, new directions in life. That's what I would do here. Uh, you have the emperor again, bossing up, plain and simple. I think you are feeling, you are just in this boss mode and, you know, cutting out the crap mode, right? <laughs> I think that if someone's going to cause problems in your life, you're just going to cut cut that off. And if there are situations that are the same, same thing. You have this beautiful engaging card and this call of the muse card. I feel you're feeling very motivated. That call of the muse card literally says that you have a muse, you have something that is motivating you to action. And the beautiful and Cajun card says you're listening to your heart more. We kind of already know this because you have the king of cups here. You also have the king of cups on the bottom of your uh, clarifying deck here. So again, I, I do feel that the first part of this reading is kind of saying that you are listening more to your heart. You're putting more energy into that and whatever you invest in today will flourish in the future. So definitely time to start investing in new directions. Uh, with the Ace of Pentacles and the Hermit, you have the Five of Wands. I do feel like some of it, I would actually encourage you to move towards competition with the Five of Wands. Uh, you know, there could be, you could have ideas for, um, you know, projects, businesses, whatever, things that you want to work on. And there could be a lot of competition for the things that you want to work on. But I think you, you should move towards competition. I actually feel competition would be, you know, something that is, where there is competition could be very beneficial for you with the Five of Wands. With the Knight of Pentacles, here you go. Are you kidding? You have the Emperor right here. So the Emperor, Emperor, the Emperor is showing up here in the area of what's on your mind. So like I said, bossing up. You know, I think that what's on your mind is you being a boss, you taking control of your life and really making things happen. So I see a lot of success here with that, um, with the Emperor and the Knight of Pentacles there. Um, the Emperor is, you know, just I feel like you're ready to go at a moment's notice. I feel like you're ready to invest into things that you want to invest in. I also do feel you could be attracting an Emperor and Empress, take out what resonates, you know, just a divine, a divine counterpart is coming in for you. So uh, you could be thinking about a person, you know, especially if you're thinking about a person that isn't making any moves. I think someone needs to make a move here. With the Six of Pentacles, love it. You have the Six of Swords. If you've been watching me for a while, you know I love two sixes. Um, two sixes like this, especially when they're touching or on top of each other, it really is like confirmation for your path. It says that you are moving in the right direction. You are doing the things you need to do uh, to be successful at this time. So Six of Swords is moving on to calmer shores. And I definitely feel for a lot of you that you are moving towards calmer shores. With the King of Cups, you have the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is independence. I, I kind of feel like this is something that you've been working on for a very long period of time. But she is also keeping six pentacles for herself and she has three pentacles over here. I always say that the six, the nine of pentacles, sorry, is really about balancing energy because she knows that she has to keep six pentacles for herself, but the pentacles could be her time, her effort, her energy, you know, what she invests into her relationships, what she invests into, you know, her job or her business. And she always keeps six pentacles for herself. So she's always fulfilling herself first. She is always taking care of herself so then she can take care of others or other situations. And, you know, this is like the best way to be independent. She also has those grapes behind her. 
And grapes in the tarot represent something that is difficult to grow, something that requires a lot of skill to grow. And it says that you have certain talents, gifts, skills, and abilities that you have been developing that could make you very successful. So I think now it's time to focus on those things. She also has this falcon right here. The falcon represents focus. So I definitely feel it is like time for you to focus or put your focus into things like your talents, gifts, skills, and abilities. I also feel, I feel a lot on this Nine of Pentacles. I feel like also she is saying that the time is right. Like now all the energy is right, the environment. I look at her as a card of your environment as well. And it's like saying everything in your environment is also uh, projecting the correct en energy. With the Five of Swords, you have the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is walking away from things that no longer serve you. And so I feel for a lot of you that you are just walking away from things that no longer serve you. This is the only card in the tarot that has an eclipse on it. And we have an eclipse tomorrow. I am putting this video out on the day of the eclipse, April 8th. Uh, you might be watching it after that, but uh, you know, if you are watching it on the day of or after we are having a, an eclipse, you could clearly be cutting something out of your life. You know, the Five of Swords with the Eight of Cups would definitely be about walking away from something or... Um, you know, releasing something in your, uh, in your life that you've been dealing with for a long time. So it wouldn't really surprise me if you were walking away from something. I actually want to get more detail on that as well. Yeah, you have the Ace of Swords as well. Like whatever you're cutting out is going to be worth it. Ace of Swords is a victory, uh, but Ace of Swords cuts both ways. You know, Ace of Swords is a card of a sacrifice as well. There's a palm frond right here and an olive branch right here. Palm fronds in the tarot kind of represent um, a sacrifice and the olive branch can represent an offer of peace or it can represent abundance. And the Ace of Swords really does re represent sometimes needing to sacrifice one thing so you can have something else. And again, you being a fire sign and the eclipse being in Aries, I think could be one of those things that um, you know, you could be asked to make a sacrifice. There are, you know, uh, some astrologers consider uh, eclipse energy to be like the sacrificial lamb, meaning you have to sacrifice something to have something better uh, to make space. So uh, eclipses can sometimes enter into our lives to make space for something bigger and that definitely could be happening for you this month here, Sag, um, or it could be something that you've already been doing. Again, uh, you know, the thing about eclipses is, is that, you know, you can pick up the energy months before the eclipse or after the eclipse. So, you know, you, you maybe you've already been working on this, right? With the judgment card, you have the king of cups. Are you kidding? Uh, there you go. I think that you could be waking up to a person as well as in, you know, if you are, you know, maybe you have a person in your life. And, you know, this right here, like I said, there's no movement, but all of a sudden there is movement. So I'm wondering if you're kind of becoming interested in a person or if you're finally seeing a person and you're like, oh, I am interested in this person. <laughs> you know, that's how it's popping into my head that like all of a sudden you're, you're just like, oh, I am interested in this person. Or maybe you've been dealing with a person or you met a person recently. I, I kind of feel like maybe you weren't like instantly, like I feel like there's attraction here for sure, but maybe you weren't like instantly head over heels for this person, but it's like you're starting to feel that way. So again, this kind of feels like one of those things where, you know, maybe this is a person who kind of grows on you. And again, I, I think I once read that, like, you know, relationships where you like fall head over heels in love with the person at like, at, you know, love at first sight are not usually the best. Um, it's usually the connections where you have to go on a couple of dates and then the person grows on you that you, those are like the best relationships, um, you know, because you did, you didn't just become like obsessed with the person right away. It wasn't just, you know, uh, because your brain was telling you to be in love with the person, right? Um, so I kind of get that feeling here. Uh, th it could be vice versa as well. It's like someone could be waking up to you and be like, oh, wow, I'm really attracted to Sagittarius. You know, I'm going to make a move. With the Hierophant, here you go, Chariot. Someone's making a move. So thank God. <laughs> uh, with, I was a little bit worried about that Knight of Pentacles. I personally do not like the Knight of Pentacles all that much. It's too slow, no movement. But Chariot with the Hierophant says that you, someone is making a move here, especially if this is love. Uh, I also feel that some of you could literally be moving, but the chariot is a victory. And the chariot is also about moving away from something. He is leaving that city behind him behind. And it represents the fact that he is setting himself apart. How interesting that I basically said that you are setting yourself apart. I think that you are developing your own beliefs. It's like, it doesn't say you can't believe what you were raised to believe with the Hierophant, right? Like I was talking about earlier, but maybe you're just choosing your own beliefs. And I kind of feel like that's what's going on here. You're doing what's best for you. With the Queen of, Wand uh, Queen of Wands, yes, you have the Ace of Wands. Very attractive at this time. Uh, Ace of Wands is out with the old, in with the new. Ace of Wands can also represent a passionate new beginning. So I definitely feel there's like a passionate, there could be a passionate connection with a person coming in for you. Very passionate. I feel like it develops very quickly. Uh, Ace of Wands is, like I said, also a new beginning. So I do feel there could be some sort of new beginning coming in for you here. With the Emperor, you have the Ten of Wands. 
Uh, ten of Wands is about carrying a heavy burden, but it really does say your hard work is paying off. Funny enough, like everybody's had the Ten of Wands, and uh, I kind of got the feeling, just as far as the collective is concerned, that really we could be in a time where the universe is rewarding everyone uh, for the hard work that they've done. So Ten of Wands, yeah, he's burdened, but he's about to reach his home back here. It looks to me like maybe we're getting a break from the universe. Really, astrologically, if that is a word, I think that May is really when everyone will notice a break from the universe or will feel like we're getting a break. I kind of feel like the summer is a little bit of a blessing. So, you know, this summer starting, you know, but we could say like starting in May, right? Things are going to start to maybe improve for us. And, um, you know, again, I think that we could be releasing burdens as well. Uh, you have this optimism card. Everybody's had this card and you are the sign of optimism, Sagittarius. So, you know, again, there could be a lot of reasons to be happy or you could be attracting or more attracted to optimism. Uh, you have this inspiration card. Yes, how crazy is that? You're like the second or third reading I've done where these two cards have come out together, which is crazy because there are a thousand cards in this deck, no joke. So I think that, you know, it's pretty weird when that happens, but uh, I would follow your inspirations. Uh, Queen of Wands energy. She feels inspired to do something and she does it. She doesn't need all the answers. She is a card of learning as you go, right? So you might be learning or figuring it out as you go. You have this appreciation card. This card of gratitude. Uh, there's a, a, a cornucopia right here and the cornucopia represent abundance. So there clearly could be a lot of abundance coming in for you. And, um, you know, it's kind of like, I, again, I kind of feel like anything you do now will be wildly successful is really the words that I'm getting, kind of like that investment card. So I think it is time to like start putting in the work because there's success here. Uh, you have this bluff card. Uh, there's a lot of this energy going on around like just right now as well. This is a card of calling people's bluff. I think that spiritual people could really be showing the world what they're made of. And, you know, it's like people are going to start noticing spiritual people more. You know, it's like usually I think spiritual people are seen as, you know, being withdrawn or uh, not in your face. But, you know, I think people are going to start noticing like what you're truly capable of here, Sag. So uh, pretty powerful. And uh, you have this defense card. I feel like you need to protect your ideas. I think everybody does at this time. Like I wouldn't be out there sharing your ideas with people or anything like that. But uh, this looks really, really good. So I love this for you here, Sag. It looks amazing. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.